In this video we're going to look at exchange rates and we're just going to look at exchange rates between the United Kingdom, the USA, Europe and South Africa. So these, the rate of exchange um, is approximately correct for August in the year 2022 where one pound is worth approximately 20 rand, one US dollar is worth 16 rand 50, one euro rounded off is about 17 rand um, and those are the exchange rates we're going to use. So in the first question, an iPod can be bought in South Africa for 3,250 Rand. What would the same iPod cost in the, in the USA in dollars? So if one dollar is approximately 16 Rand 50, to work out how many dollars it will, will be the equivalent of 3,250 Rand, we're going to take 3,250 and divide it by 16 Rand 50 to see how many dollars it will be worth. Right, so it's going to be 3,250 divided by 16 rand 50 because there's 16 rand 50 to every dollar. And the iPod price is going to be approximately $196.97. Using the same um, exchange rates, let's look at example two. On a recent visit to New York, Kirsten bought a pair of diesel jeans for 50 US dollars. She then flew to Paris and saw the same pair of jeans. Calculate the equivalent price of the jeans in the euros. Now we don't have the exchange rate um, for US dollars to euros. So what we're going to have to do is first convert it to rands and then from rands into euros. Okay, so if we know it's going to cost 50 US dollars, then for every dollar I'm going to pay 16 rand 50. So to get the price in rand, we're going to have to multiply 16 rand 50 by 50. Because for every one dollar, I'm going to pay 16 rand 50. So for 50 dollars, I'm going to go 50 times 16 rand 50. So the jeans price in rands will be approximately 825 rand. And now we want to convert that into euros. So if it's one euro is equivalent to 17 rand. I want to know how many euros will be equivalent to 825. So we're going to take 825 and divide it by 17. So we get 48,53 euros. So just look at the difference in the calculations. If you give them a dollar price, you're going to multiply it by 16 rand 50. But then if you are given the South African rands and you want to get it to euros or dollars or pounds, you'll have to divide by that specific exchange rate. Let's look at one more example. So a pair of Nike sneakers costs £109 in the UK or $131 in the USA. The same pair of sneakers. So which price is better for you as a South African? And you need to show all calculations. So we want to see what is £109 in rands and what is $131 in rands. So for the first calculation, we need to use the pound rand exchange rate, which is approximately 20 rand for one pound. So if, cost, if there's 20 rand in every one pound, for £109, I'm going to multiply by 20. So in the UK, the price will be 109 times 20, so 2,180 Rand, approximately. Right, then in the US, that same pair of sneakers costs 131 US dollars. So if every dollar costs 16 Rand 50, 131 dollars will be 131 times 16 Rand 50. And it's going to be 2,161 Rand and 50 cents. So the amounts are very, very similar. Nike probably does that on purpose. But for us in South Africa, it would be cheaper for us to buy from the USA at this time. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe.